work on what we call six week cycles. So we have a, we've, we've invented this system called Shape Up. We won't work on anything that takes longer than six weeks. The whole product might be a series of six week cycles, but no feature will take more than six weeks. So we don't have to be so precious about what we choose to do because we're going to be able to pick another thing to do in six weeks. If you choose, if, if you plan so far in advance, like we're going to lay out the roadmap for the next two years, you're just putting this huge amount of stress on, your, on yourself and indecision and you're locking yourself in to not being able to change. I, I'm not a big fan of that. So I, we're not really precious about the things we choose to do. If we get to it now, great. If we get to it in October, great. Get to it till ne next September, February, fine, whatever. We'll get to it eventually when we feel like it's the right thing to do. I feel like that six weeks just made a bunch of scrum people panic. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Don't care. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay, yeah. right? Like they can panic about it. But I do, I, I kind of like your six weeks approach because I feel like it's meaty enough to get something fully baked out to a customer to to try it and to get some meat stuck, you know, in it where they can actually like play with this big feature. And sometimes two weeks isn't isn't long enough for that. This is the key. This is so, so the scrum, like it's like two weeks, two weeks, two weeks, two weeks, as long as it takes, but two weeks at a time. Yeah, no. exactly. <laughs> six weeks is the most anything can take for us. And we only have two people working on it. One programmer, one designer. Two people have six weeks max, and most of the time it's like a week or two or three, but these are complete ideas, and they need to ship at the end of that. This idea that you keep working in two-week sprints forever, like what, what's the point of that? Like, I, I mean, I don't get it.